It's a big game for both teams. It's a game that's been brought forward from the February window due to Hungary not being able to participate in this window. But Slovenia, the 27. 2017 Eurobasket champions can qualify with a win versus Austria tonight if Ukraine beat Austria tomorrow. Austria are and two having lost to Ukraine and Slovenia in the February qualification window, but the team are feeling confident and now have a bigger lineup at their disposal with Rados and Mahalbasic available, who weren't on the roster in the reverse game versus Slovenia. Also, there is a start for exciting young talent, Errol Antonio Osek, Bayern Munich star, just 21 years old, and they have high hopes for him in Austria. And the Austria team is being introduced. Rasij Malabasic, six foot ten, will give the Austrians some real protection inside. Marvin Ogunsipi, game day two versus Slovenia, 17 points. And three from five from three point range. He's averaging 11 and a half points a game. Is Ogun Sipi. And now it is over to Slovenia. Luka Ruknik playing some really big basketball. 12 points yesterday and seven assists in the win against Ukraine. Jaka Blazic, 23 points, 10 rebounds in the win versus Ukraine last night. So Ukraine played last night and today and Austria play today and tomorrow. That's for Ukraine, they get a day off today. But this game is big for both teams. And we will pause for the national anthems. And the national anthems of both teams sung with fervour, energy and respect. Difficult times around the world, but basketball continues in Europe and all around the world with the Continental Cup qualifiers. As we look at Yaza Blagic, huge game last night. 23 points, 10 rebounds. One assist, one steal. 
and with an efficiency of 19 and Austria's job is to stop him. And slow blows it down, but Rupnik is really starting to grow into a super player as well. There's the referees. Zafi Yilmaz, Tolga Salhin and Marek Kuklasik from Turkey, Italy and Slovakia. All experienced FIBA referees bringing great efficiency and officiating to the games all around the world. So as for Austria, this is the first game of the window for them. And their last game they did play was against Slovenia. In Slovenia on the road, 85-78 Slovenians won. But Austria played really well. And Bojic Vizosevic, 18 points, five rebounds, two assists. There's the player to really watch, number six. And Marvin Urgan CP, 17 points in that game. And looking at the Slovenians, starting five, Rupnik, Muric, Blazic, Morgan, and Luka Laputnik has hit some big shots as well. For Slovenia, they are the reigning Eurobasket champions from 2017. And there is Alexander Sukulic, the head coach of Slovenia. Deep in thought as he prepares his team for a must-win game. If they want to try and get third spot, top three in the group go through. And here's the Austrian lineup. Burgic, Vujasevic, Moratti, Ursek, as we spoke about pre-game, and Mahalabasic and Marvin Urgensipi. Urgen Sipi is second leading scorer, 11.5 points a game. Be interesting to see how young Ursok Ursek gets on. And there's Raul Corner. Well known to Basketball Champions League viewers uh, at Medi Beirut, who have had much success with them and now has gone on to coach his national team. Really progressive coach and is doing a great job with Austria. They've lost their two games, 85-78 and 88-73 on the opening day at home against Ukraine. And there's Jordan Morgan, of course, played here with Petra Olympia. Outstanding player, big threat inside. And this is why Austria are going to need their size in the paint. There's Joza Rados, Rasid Mahalabasic. Let's listen to coach. That's the offense. Get open. Okay, everything sharp. Okay, off gets pushed. Let's go. Off gets. Let's go. Off gets. Let's find the fight. He's there. Okay, fight is there. Okay. There's nothing. Hands off. Hands off. I got my good hand in his face. Second play, yeah, you need to be high. Okay. When Mura's passing you, you don't look. You just run. Mura passing you, you just run. Look, okay, great. Bravo, bravo. Hey, let's go. First, pick your own defense with Bujosevic, number six. Go, hard show. Okay, first. Only first one. No trip. Yeah, first one. First one. First one. Yeah, first one. First one. Okay. First one. First pick it off. Show and go back. Show quick. Go step right. Take the ball. Take. Making everybody. I did. I Well, it's great for English viewers tonight having both coaches doing their timeouts in English, obviously for non-Slovenian and non-Austrian speaking viewers. It's going to be a great matchup. It's been such a wonderful weekend window of basketball. Friday night it all started, tomorrow it finishes. An incredible job done by FIBA to get these games on in safe environments. So, Austria in the red, 0-2. 
Slovenia in the white, two and one. Their only loss on game day one to Hungary by two points. And we're underway, balls up and was tapped on the way down. But Slovenia in white will get the first look. Now, Luka Rupnik, seven assists against Ukraine, doing a great job for his club and his country. But commentator's curse right off the bat. Big steal from 24 in red. Rasid Mahalbasic backing down behind the back. Oh! Highlight play to get things underway. And Vuzasevic gets the score. And uh, trying for the alley oop for Jordan Morgan, but he just couldn't get up that high. So good start for Austria. Pressure right from the start in the Slovenian defense. Bogic, Vujasevic. Pass inside to Nkosipi. And jump shot made. Enes Marati. Drive and kick and almost stolen. Shots up, it's just short and big rebound. By Mahal Basic. Austria ball from the sideline. And the fadeaway is good. Great move by Vujic Vujosevic. And he is their leading scorer and he is delivering right now. 18 points versus Slovenia. Last time they met in February, game day two. And big shot for three by Blazic. Slovenia on the board. Vujasevic has to bring it out, but he didn't see Blazic coming from the blind side. Blazic just couldn't quite get the steal, but Jordan Morgan happy with that play and the effort from Blazic and telling him so. Leading player, leading scorer, and leading from the front on defense as well. Rupnik with the assist on the three-point play. Of course, he's the leading assist man. From last night's game against Ukraine. Off the dribble, and the shot is good, and Austria shooting the lights out, Moratti. Penetrate, kick, shots up, and good for three. And wide open for the layup and the complete breakdown of defense there. Moratti with another. Edo Muric with the three-pointer prior to the Moratti layup. Rupnik not being given a chance, but he gets it inside to Morgan, who just waits on the baseline under the basketball. Great catch and finish by Morgan. And Rasid Bahabasic has really come in and Making a positive start to the game. 10-8 to Austria. All the way across. 
Morgan. And thrown away. Luca Lepolknik was the pass went all the way across to, and he got it to Morgan, and Morgan couldn't finish the pass. He was in midair. Splazic just didn't quite come across far enough. And Ursek is here, handling the ball now. Inside to Mahabasic. Oh, he's going to go baseline. <laughs> Cheeky move. Didn't quite come off. Lepornik. Nice layup right through the defence. Luka Lopanik with the score. Inside again, behind the back. Beautiful pass again. By Mahalbasic. And Maratti. Getting the finish, and that was nice by Lapanik. Up the other end for Slovenia. It's Fizusevic gets the roll. That's a good matchup, Fizusevic and Luka Rupnik. Blazic. Rupnik coming back up high. Shot clock under 10. Morgan going to the basket. Shots up by Blazic. Long rebound. Morgan with another big rebound. An attack, oh nice by Rupnik, little jump hook, but they can't get it to go. And tipped away by Mohamasic. Look at Sipi running the floor. Maratti comes out. Good job by him. And Friedrich and Gutzle in. Shots up. Just off. For Ersek. Morgan fakes. And he's having to fade away. Good defense by Mahalbasic. Logan Supi just long. Great defense by Austria. Wide open shot, one bounce. Just off, but big rebound. By Mahambasic knocks it back out. And they keep it alive, Austria. Left hand layup just out. And Ersic can't get the rebound. Blasic. Strong move. And Morgan gets the rebound and recycles it. Deep three just off. Mahabasic gets the rebound. He's looking to work against Morgan, goes baseline, passes it back out for a wide open shot. It's really pushing some nice passes around. They've just got to make the most of their open opportunities, Austria. Morgan hands it back to Rupnik. Lazic, baseline. Morgan 
standstill jump shot is just off. But Austria couldn't secure the rebound and blasts it straight in there. And Tide is up the offensive rebound and ties the game at 12. Blas it's up to five points. Halbasic wasn't quite set. Maybe he needs a blow. Didn't play in the games in February. And Rupnik comes out. Not sure if that was. Because that is not really a play on the ball. And Hodzic is in. Hodzic's nine points, three of seven from behind the arc against Ukraine yesterday evening. Shots up and just short again. Daniel Friedrich is in for Austria. And Benedict Gutzlei. We're going to sweep attacks from the three point lines, going into two players, and there was no way through. And tough defense from Alan Hodzic. There's no gap there. The defense was set. Maybe another pass would have been or penetrate. There's the help. Kick it. Just kick it to the wide open shooter in the corner. Easy for me to say, sitting here watching. We're in Slovenia, in Ljubljana, in the Eurobasket qualification bubble. It's tied at 12. Shots up. And it's good for three. Big time shot for Ada Muric. Nice assist as well by Matic Rebic. Timeout Austria. Slovenia have taken the lead for the first time, 15 to 12. Nummer eins. Wir haben es zwei Teamfäuste. Das heißt, wir haben zwei Fäuste zu geben. Mehr Druck. Wir lassen Füße spielen. Wir lassen den Kontakt zu. Mehr Druck auf den Ball. Physischer. Okay. Und keine bei diesen Pick and Roll Situation. Steig gerade raus. Lass dich nicht hinausziehen. Gerade raus, dass wir kürzere Rotationen haben und weg zurück. Hey, wir brauchen Press Offense. Wir haben jetzt drei Guides. Um, wir gehen. Wir gehen Hoins, Hoins down, Hoins down, yeah, double, get open, okay. We're back underway after the timeout. Hope you're enjoying the action here. Austria versus Slovenia. It's a game day five fixture. Would, was due to be played in February, being brought forward to this window. Trying to get the ball into Jojo Radosh, one of the players that wasn't playing in the reverse fixture against Slovenia. Press officer was talking to us before the game and talked about Radosh and Mihail Basic being available for this game, but not in the game in Slovenia back in February. And there's Gregor Hovrat. And Benedict Gutel with the foul.
And welcome back to Stozucci Arena in Ljubljana, Slovenia. It's just a slight technical problem there. So at the end of the first quarter, Slovenia now push their lead out to eight points. Leading scorers for Austria. Maratti, six points. Fijasevic, six points. They're the only two scorers for Austria at the moment. And Slovenia, Blazic with five. Hozic with three. Nedomiric with six. And inside, beautiful pass by Thomas Schreiner inside to Rashid. Now, how Basic. Shots up and good for three. Gregor Hovret. How Basic. He's just going to let the shot go from the elbow. Just a standstill set shot. Rashid. Now Basic. Matic Rebic. To Hovrat. And attacking on the baseline, Blaz Makovic. So Matic Rebic at the end line out of bounds. Grab what I have right. A nice penetration, extra pass, but good defense. Good pen, good defense on the perimeter and defending the basket as well. Matic Rebic with the inbounds and. Good hands. Ball's still loose on the floor, but great hands by the Austrian defense. It's Cozzi there getting it knocked. Knocked loose. Shrine up. And they come through. And oh, nice play, and he throws it up. Now Basic. Now Basic fakes the, the handoff. He's in the post. He just steps in but can't get the, the step through. Finger roll. Slovenia. Rebic. All the way across Hovrat. Catch and shoot is off the side of the backboard. Gets its own rebound. Penetrate. Kick to the other side. Tack off the dribble. Shots up for three. It's good. Blazmohovic. 
Blas Markovic. Blas Markovic, that's a big, big play. And Vizosevic draws the foul on Hodsitz. Ten point lead for Slovenia, three points for Makovic. And an air ball shot there by Austria. By their leading scorer. Penetrate kick. Rebic. Back outside, wide open, three, just long, and tipped rebound. Austria on the run, good defensive transition by Slovenia. And great job by Morgan. But they're going to lose it. And can Austria make them pay now for three in transition? Rogic, Fijasevic, Mahal Basic comes out. So 26-16, Slovenia lead all the way across. Hovrat, again, he's getting really good looks, but look at Jordan Morgan. Terrorizing the Austrian defense. They've got to box him out. Six rebounds already today. Penetrate, kick, extra pass, attacks the closeout all the way to the other side. Hovrat attacks the closeout, baseline pass, shot clock running down. Morgan's got to get it up, and he does, right at the buzzer. Beautiful play, Slovenia, and in particular, Jordan Morgan at the end, getting the shot off just in time. And a relieved looking coach Sekulic. And Morgan dives on the floor and creates that turnover as well against Austria. Rebic inside. And Morgan, great control. Good hands, protects the ball and fouled in the act of shooting. They're just spreading the floor, four out, one in, causing all sorts of issues. A little pass fake to the wing just to get the help off balance. And then Morgan did a really good job because he didn't get complete control of the ball immediately. Once he did, he just stayed low, let the defence jump and then he went up and scored. It's a timeout for Austria. Lots of questions to answer. Let's listen to Coach Corner. Aggressive face up back from Ball zum Ball. Speed. With speed. And when we here the Ball on top of the key, we go one more principle side to side. Not only one side and one direction. Aggressive backdoor cut. We have the first two points, the first four points done. Only the backdoor cut with 1 against 0 layups. And plötzlich will jeder zum Ball. Backdoor cut, zweiter zum Ball. Offensive, we get one
And free throw made by Jordan Morgan. He had 13 points, 11 rebounds last night against Ukraine, and he's carrying on the good work through to today. Austria have really got to find a way to get a foothold back in this game, and that's great defense, and they can't force it. Ogun Seip did the same early. He tried to force it. The help stayed at home under the basket, leaving the shooter in the corner. And Bogit Fujasevic has done exactly the same thing. It's almost a carbon copy. In fact, he did try to pass it out first, and Coach Corner saying, just get the pass off early before you get to the help. Great defense, though, by Slovenia. And Bars Markovic with the charge taken. And off the glass, the window is... Well, the bank is open here in Ljubljana, and a nice smile. By Blas Malkovic, he just... Blas Majovic took the charge, and now he's made a three off the window. Short jump shot is good for Enes Moratti. He's up to eight points now. And score is good. And Markovic gets it to go again. He's taken over the game with a three, a two, and taken a charge. Exactly what, exactly what Slovenia need. Shots up Olgensight and misses everything, but body's flying. Gregor Hofrat was the player that went to the ground. And substitutions. Chaka Blazic and Luka Rupnik back in. And Adam Hotchit takes a seat, three points. And with Austrian team fouls, Gregor Hovrat to the other end. Knocks down the free throws. Borgic Vujasevic. And they pick up the dribble. A lot of pressure on the perimeter now by Slovenia. Shots up from deep, and it's good for three. And Austria knock it down, Vujasevic. With the big three, Hovrat, this time he knocks it down. He's had a couple of those already wide open when the help comes off him, and he knocked that down, made no mistake. Slovenia in complete command now with a 20-point lead. Free throw jump shot is in and out for Enes Marati. Was a bit wild there. Oh. Blas Markovic. <laughs> and that's a really nice move by Slovenia there for the Hovrat three point. Shot and Blazic being the provider. The, the penetrating kick. 
It's timeout, Slovenia. That's Grigor Hovrec playing his basketball in Charlotte. He's the top scorer for Slovenia. Just great ball movement with the penetrating kick. Or they just have four out and have Jordan Morgan in, and they can just utilize his size and athleticism. Of course, a great rebounder to sweep up any missed shots from the perimeter. Hovrat. He penetrates kicks. Rupnik. Morgan. He got caught in two minds, I think. We all thought he was going to throw that down. He certainly has the elevation. Maybe the ball just slipped or he was just trying to drop it over the top. That's a foul on Ursic. Stopping the dunk there. Knocks down the free throw. It's a wide open three. They're not taken. The two is, and it's just out. And good rebound, long rebound, chased down by Ursic. Penetrate, kick, extra pass. Ursic open just off, but he gets his own rebound. Almost stolen. Mahal Basic. If this goes in, it could be the play of the game. Big rebound. Great bounce pass. The vision of Rasid Mahal Basic is fantastic. Playing his basket, basketball with Oldenburg. Foul on Mahal Basic. Just a swipe across Rupnik. And Markovic comes out for Slovenia. So Rupnik at the free throw line. Seven assists last night, yesterday against in the Ukrainian victory. And carrying on his good play, 12.7 assist in yesterday's game and almost a steal. Great play by Hovrat. Basketball Champions League this year with Cholet and has played In fact, in most of the seasons in the Basketball Champions League, Gregor Hovrat, Rupnik, all the way back across, shots up, and it's good for three. Eda Muric with the three. Luka Rupnik with another assist. And Slovenia just doing an efficient job here, 48 points. Just 90 seconds remaining in the quarter and 
Coach Raul Corner has got a lot of issues to deal with, and Slovenia playing really well. Lutrasevic throws it up, and big rebound by Mihal Vesic. So Slovenia played Ukraine last night, and Austria will play Ukraine tomorrow. All the way across and back again. Great spacing and great passing. And Rutnik almost gets it to go. Just two points, five assists, of course, today for Rupnik. Playing in the Basketball Champions League this season. Under a minute remaining. Moretti. Mohalbasic comes to set the screen. Moretti drives, step back. Tough shot coming, but he's fouled by Jarka Blazic, who was playing soft touch defense. But he extended out too far on the jump shot. A little shot fake, and then he kept his arm straight up, but he just overextended. Blazic well, there. And there's Moratti at the line. Four of six from the field, nine points now. That's his first made free throw. Slovenia lead by 25 as we come to the end of the second quarter. It's been a really dominant display in this second quarter, especially. And the threes up, no good defensive rebound. And Austria, there's about one second differential between game and shot clock. Like they can run it down, try and get a really good play to finish the quarter. Vujasevic wide open, three, no good. There's time, there's time, Morgan throws it. He wasn't expecting that. And at half time, it's Austria 25, Slovenia 50. Some great shooting percentages by Slovenia. 11 11 from the line, 9 of 18 from behind the arc, 6 of 12 from two, 50% from both, 21 rebounds to 12, 12 assists to seven, eight turnovers to six. Austria have the eight turnovers. And the leading scorers, Vršević, Moratti, and Mahalbasic. For Austria and Hofrat, Morgan and Muric at 10 9. And 9 also for Muric. Here's the best action from the first half. Austria had a really good start. They took the lead in the first quarter. 
and were only down by eight. They scored 12 points in the first quarter, 13 in the second. 20 to 12 in the first quarter and 30 to 13 in the second. It's the volume of threes, nine out of 18 is, is a big amount of threes. And that's why Slovenia, or well, big reason why Slovenia have 50 points, plus also the offensive effort, effort there, getting rebounds and attacking the glass to make laps. They've also taken a couple of big charges and broken up the Austrian play with some good defense steals and deflections just great skip passing for Slovenia that was Markovic who really had a good spell made a three and a two and took a charge I really like the play of Rasid Mohal Basic and that's really good play and Rados came in behind. He just couldn't stay with Morgan a couple of times. And the defense, it's just great the way the Slovenian perimeter plays. Look at Morgan. And sometimes he becomes a decoy and then they just pass the ball on around the outside for wide open three pointers. And Morgan's always ready to get it when it comes in. So Slovenia in complete control. What can Austria do at half time? But I really like the passing of Mahal Basic. And there's your skip pass yet again, just wonderful. smile by the coach at the end of the quarter. Gregor Hovrat, 10 points. Two of five from the field, two of five from three-point range. And four of four from the free throw line, 11 of 11, Slovenia from the line. And four of four for Austria, so both 100%, but Slovenia have taken seven more free throws. And that's another wide open shot for Markovic. Top scorer for Austria. He was the top scorer coming in to this game, averaging 16 points a game. And is and the top scorer is Maratti in this game. Four of seven from the field, four of six from two. 10 points. Four of six from two point range, two or two from the line, one steal. But they had some good moments, especially at the start of the. I suppose it's Vujasevic with 11 points is the leading scorer for Austria. One rebound. And the three turnovers. So lots to do for Austria in the second half. Don't go away. Enjoy the best of the Eurobasket highlights. See you shortly. Pass, looking for Richard. It was ambitious. And Poland could come away here. Superb from Mihala. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Laid up superbly. How about this from Mihala, though? Through the legs of Kacic. In the low block. 
not a turnover through his legs well this could be spectacular transition three got it fast break showtime basketball by Slovenia Shungalia oh the running one hand and he bangs his fist against his chest Enjoyable player to watch. Roberto Diaz throwing it high, and what a start! Spain bringing the pain right off the opening bat. Malagian, what's he going to do? Feeds it, Dusha Malagian! Nails the three! Has there been a bigger shot in the history of Swiss basketball? Ice running through his veins! You can see how much it means! Absolutely ice cold from the corner pocket, Dusham Aladjan. Welcome back. Slovenian game leaders hover at 10 points. Morgan, six rebounds, and Rupnik continues with his excellent sharing of the basketball with five assists. And there's Gregor, Gregor Hovrat's stat sheet. 10 points, four rebounds, and one assist for Slovenia's number 15. Playing with Cholet of France in the Basketball Champions League. Been a tough start to the season for them. They're in a tough group, though. With Ike for company, so it's going to be a tough season. But they have a good young team, and with Hovrat's experience, Austria's team, Fijasevic, 11 points. Mahal Basic, six rebounds. And Mahal Basic six assists excuse me five assists four points two of five from the field six rebounds five assists and there's Lujasevic 11 points four of seven from the field two of two free throws there's one of two from behind the arc three of five from two point range They've just got to try and get everybody involved. They've got to slow Slovenia down, who are playing with such rhythm. 50%, just to remind you. 9 of 18 from behind the arc. And 6 of 12 from 2. And 11 of 11 from the free throw line. And they really are looking focused. 
And they're on a mission to make sure they make no mistakes. With a win tonight, tonight. and if Ukraine beat Austria tomorrow, Slovenia will have qualified for Eurobasket 2021, being played in 2022 in four countries. As with Eurobasket 2017, Georgia, Italy, Czech Republic and Germany are the hosts. So they are in the qualification process. So the groups that have those teams in, there's only two places available because obviously the hosts have already qualified. So back to this game. What can Austria do? They need to reduce the turnovers. And they've got to turn the ball over. They've got to turn the Slovenians over. They may need to put some traps on. Just put something different in. Get the ball in. To Mahalbasic. And let him dictate the plays. He's an old school player. Quirky in the way he plays. But he can find his teammates. He's made some really good passes. Five assists, six rebounds. And they've just got to try and slow Slovenia down, but Slovenia have been sharing the ball so well. 12 assists to Austria, seven. And just making so much good use of spacing, having Morgan inside as a threat or a decoy to um, either penetrate and kick or just passing the ball around the perimeter. Extra passes, sh shot fakes, pass fakes inside, get the, get the help to react. And then they always find the open player. Let's listen to the timeout. Let's listen to the coaches. You come, okay, you come. Mura. Roll, roll. If there is, try to attack if it's possible, try to score. Okay, if nothing. Check Hedger, okay. To check Hedger up. Okay. They, uh, you uh, I pass three. to you now. Or you prefer I pass to one and one yeah, pass. They you can pass me. Okay. But be ready, Cutters, Mura, be ready. Yeah, okay. ready. Hey, yeah, hey, listen. Okay. Next. Yeah. If nothing, off the killer. Off the slipper. Off the slipper. Okay, I can corner. I can roll both slipper. I'm okay. I can corner. I'm okay. 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 So we're just underway and the Slovenian team under Alexander. Sakulic, just 42 years old, the Slovenian coach. He's assistant coach at Chesnimberg as well. Being with the national team and he won't be happy what, he, what he's just seen there. It was with Slovenia B and has been the Slovenian coach, head coach for this year. So good start for Austria inside. A nice shot by Albasic. He's up to six points now. Blazic up top. Cross the Rupnik. They're trying to look inside now to Morgan, and that will be an offensive foul, I think. Good job by Mark. Marvin Ogensite. He's trying to get round the outside, and Morgan gave him a very strong forearm, and that's much better start for Royal Corn. 
Oh, corners, men. Nice back cut. Penetrate, kick. Mid-range jump shot is good, and they're starting the third quarter exactly like they started the game. Ida Muric. They've got to have a sustained effort now. Ball's knocked loose. Slovenia look really... Not looking good at all, and Ogunsai just can't get it to go. Just looking sloppy at the start, Slovenia. Ovrat back to Jakob Blazic. Screen by Morgan. Blazic passes inside. And Rupnik can't get it to go. So Austria can eat further into the this lead. And they're going to go to the free throw line. Spirited start to the third quarter by Austria. Nice job by Bogic. Vyjovic. This is the first. And Vyjosevic knocks down the second. Now they need just to get some pressure on the ball. Rupnik, high screen for Morgan, who stays outside. Another screen for Morgan. Rupnik, open three, is off. And Ogun Seip with the rebound. Oh, the Josevich is good for two. They've come out with the bit between their teeth. The team in red. And Slovenia are seeing red at the moment. And for Josevich, leading scorer for this team, leading the way in this third quarter. Team 15 points now. So, Austria on a really good run here. Eight unanswered points to start the third quarter, exactly what they needed. Shots up, no good for Slovenia, but great rebound. Great offensive rebound for Slovenia. Rebic. Oh, good lay. Morgan, hands off to Rebic. Wrap around pass. Blasic. They almost lose it. They do now. And here comes Austria. Can they finish? Ogunsight, left hand. No good. Just can't quite get into the game against Slovenia. Last time they played. Austria's number 26, Ogunsight. 17.6 rebounds. And three of five from the three point line. Nice catch, and then just waited, and a definite foul. A technical foul on Ribic. It's just a no foul called on Elkensaip, just the technical on Rebic. Bit of frustration with Slovenia at the moment. Blazic. 
Well, as it's behind the back, good defence from Austria without fouling. Shots up, it's long and good stretch on the rebound, but they try to force something that wasn't there. There was no gap. Good defence by Slovenia. Rebic back to Rebic. Hovrat just drifts down into the corner. Now comes back up, shots up. And big rebound. Firstly by Ogunsaip, and then for Jozovic. For a personal foul on the Halbesic. And wide open three is in and out. They just can't get it to go. The shots they made in the first half, they're just in and out. Often the way with the half time break. They need to get back to what they were doing. 16-point lead for Slovenia. Good defence, not giving them any room. Shots up from deep, just off for three, but Ogunsaip, good offensive rebound. Mahabasic, and another offensive foul, and good play by Morgan. Just too physical, just gets it in the post, and you can't, I mean, that's... Always going to be called an offensive foul. Ersek back in. But they got it back to 16 points. Slovenia still scoreless. Nearly halfway through, but not anymore. Nearly halfway through the quarter. And Jakob Lazic comes to the rescue. Long two is up. Immediate response by Austria. And Bozic. Zuzovic. Inside Morgan, double team, someone's open, but that's great trap. They just can't get the deflection or the steal. Step through from Hovrat, no good. Ball's loose, and he gets the offensive rebound. And they restore their lead. Back to 19. Just off for Austria. From long range by Vujasevic. Rebic. Outside, shots up from the corner is long. And good rebound by Rodesh. Maratti looking for options. Radosh comes to the ball, to the ball, offers a screen. And Vujosevic is just in a zone. He's just going to keep shooting if he's open. Forces a timeout from Slovenia. Just uses the screen. Hard dribble, pulls up. And a timeout called by coach Sekulic. Let's listen in to coach. Hey, 
So a good start to the quarter by Austria. They're leading 13 to five. And they were nine nil. And good defense like that, just harrowing and hustling, trying to make something happen, trying to get back into the, trying to get back into the game and Rupnik and Coach Sekulic are in deep conversation. So we're back underway. Rebic and full court pressure by Austria here. And exactly what they need to do. Friedic is in. 3.44 remaining in the third quarter here in Ljubljana, Slovenia. Blasic attacks. Rebic attacks, loses the ball. Good hustle. by Radosh. And knocked loose by Friedrich. So Austria get the chance to eat further into the lead. Ball movement around the outside. High screen off, offered. Shots up for three and it's just off. Welcome Sipe. Just off again. Need to get him going. He's second in scoring for this team, 11.5 points a game. All the way across, Rebic, good defense, but better offense. Great play by Matic Rebic. Hogan site. Back outside. Screen. Schreiner. And ball's loose. And first to it. And a great play, but they've run out of shot clock. And that's fantastic effort by Slovenian defense. And by Jojo Radosh. They've just attacked, Friedrich lost the ball. Radosh is there, he's trying to get a pass off. Ball's knocked loose by Ian Kossi. Jan Kossi right in the thick of the action there. Exactly what you want when someone has just come in to the ball game. Rebic. 19-point lead for Slovenia. Vlasic attacks baseline, hangs in the air. Great athlete, great body control. Just a great attack of the basket and hung in the air. Just misses the first one. was in that Slovenian national team that won Eurobasket 2017. And now a leading scorer for this team. 23 points, 10 rebounds against Ukraine yesterday. And if Slovenia win this game and Ukraine are able to beat Austria tomorrow, then Slovenia 
and Ukraine will both be qualified to the Eurobasket finals. So lots on the line here for both teams because Austria are trying to get their first win. They want to be competitive. They're ranked FIBA 56 against Slovenia 17. So back to a 20 point lead. Shots up just long. By Luka Lopanik. Inside. Nice pass. Jump hook is just short from Hopgartner. Ball's loose. And inside, and a shot just missed. Free throw line, jump shot is good, Daniel Friedrich, and they needed that, Austria. They need a burst of energy off the bench. Erzic trying to get a steal. Errol Antonio Erzic. A lot of high hopes for this player, just 21 years old. And penetrate, kick, three-pointer up, and is good. And Alan Hodzic. And inside, and just off, and they... Third quarter comes to an end with a narrow Austrian miss under the basket. But they had a great start to the third quarter. Had a 9-0 run to start, but Slovenia back. For Austria, they've just got to keep playing. They've got another game tomorrow. They've got to try and take some momentum like they had at the start of the game and the start of the first half of that third quarter. 9-0 lead, and then Slovenia came back, and it was a 15-11 victory in the third for Austria. So they've got to try and win this quarter as well. And the closeout. Mamurati was too hard and it's just attacked by Luka Lepornik.
And shots up just off right. Laponik with the missed shot. Now Austria, can they respond? Can they get off to a good start in this fourth quarter? And really push to the end. Shots up. They've had an extra day preparation, of course. Would have June to have been played earlier in the weekend. And great defence. But that game was cancelled. So that's why they play today and tomorrow against Ukraine. And Rebic again, great defence. Just went straight, barrelling in to Frederick. And Raul Corner will like that. They like the effort. Schreiner. Well, Basic is in. And they're looking to push it ahead. Jankozzi. Rebic with a rip through and back. And now they get the wide open shot and it's just long. Good inside position by Jankozzi. Another 14 seconds for Slovenia and a, little, a nice job. Luka Laponik with the score there for Slovenia. And the lead back up to 23 points for the 2017 Eurobasket champions. And there's a foul. Laponik. Friedrich to Mahal Basic. Shots up and good for three. And Friedrich doing a really good job for Austria here. He's a spark off the bench. Exactly what they needed, the lefty. Knocking it down. They need someone special. That's miles out. Just long by Rebic. He gets his own rebound. Can't get it to go on that rebound. They've got numbers here, Austria. Shots up, quick release, and it's good for three. Line drive three by Thomas Schreiner, and it forces another timeout by Slovenia. And it's six to two in the final quarter. They've just got to try and win the quarter. I saw the graphics go through and averaging 81.3 points a game and 18 assists. And there. And there below that. 
potentially at the moment. They've got work to do. 63 points at the moment for Slovenia in this game. And seven minutes just over remaining in the fourth. So let's see how Slovenia come out of this timeout. Nice penetrating kick all the way to Blazic. No good. Uh, but Morgan with a big rebound loses possession. They come all the way back out. And great save by Blazic. Can he finish? Oh, that is outrageous. Great save on the halfway line. What body control. He was leaning so far back. Wonderful play by the leading scorer for Slovenia, Blazic. Free throw line jump shot is just off. For Mahalbasic. Rupnik. Blazic comes out. I think he just wants to take control. Rupnik. Shot clock running down. Rupnik. Great pass into the corner. And foul on the closeout. What a wonderful left arm pass across his body from Luka Rupnik there. High level. High level pass. And the closeout was a long closeout for Davo Lamasic. And if you're doing that, that's going to be an issue. And that, especially with Mihal Basic coming over. And Blaz Markovic at the line. He's had a good game tonight. Blaz Markovic, 10 points, plus minus of 15. And he's on the floor. A plus 15. Friedner. All the way across, shots up, and it's good for three. Enes Marati. They're still fighting, they're still scrapping, and they're still knocking down big shots, Austria. But they've just such a bad percentage from the three point behind the three point arc today. Penetrate kick and just short, balls loose. Jaka Blausic trying to get that offensive rebound, the loose ball. And Friedrich has done a great job. Five points. Austria now four of 19 from three point range. So they've made three three pointers in this court alone. Oh, what a pass! Let's hope they can make it off that pass, and they do. Maratti. Ennis Maratti, he's had a big game himself. 15, 17 points, two rebounds, one assist. Back to 16 with five minutes to go. And Rupnik drawing the foul. From Ennis Maratti, and that, but Ennis Maratti before that was a great mid-range jump shot, penetrate, kick again, over to the other side. And Blazic doesn't take it in this time. Long-range shot up, and a foul called. As Markovic hits the floor. Vujasovic. <laughs> Pressure from Slovenia. Trying to make something happen on that defensive end. Vujasovic. To Maratti. High screen offered. Vyosevic has to pick the dribble up. Shot clock running down. And great anticipation by Mahalbasic. 
And Mahal Basic, great anticipation, just catches it and puts it straight up. He just plays the game. Old school, some might say, but he's got great instinct. And talking about instinct, Rupnik has good instinct. He just couldn't make that shot. And Austria continue to fight. Now Basic, oh, great pass. But Maratti couldn't. Just couldn't make the play. The decoy cut by Vyosevic as he came towards the ball. And then a nice pass to Maratti. But Maratti just couldn't get it to finish. And then he's committed the foul. Technical foul on Lamasic. And Ovrat makes up to 13 points now, seven rebounds, one assist for Gregor Ovrat. And good defense. Vyosevic with the steal. Back to Vyosevic, he's going to possibly pull up, but he doesn't. They're trying to get it inside, but there's three players around the post. And that's good. Are they going to call? That would be a very long continuation if they do. Lamasic goes out. And Bryce Duvier is in the game. His third rebound up for this team. Three rebounds a game, number three for the team. Three ten remaining in the fourth. Point lead for Slovenia. They've led by as many as 25. And good up fake and strength shown by Mahamasic. That's Jordan Morgan's. That's Morgan's second foul. Benedict Gutzel is in. And we're back down to a 15 point differential here. Just pressure required on the defensive end. Just throw everything at Slovenia. Try and reduce the arrears here and take good feelings and good momentum into tomorrow's game against Ukraine. Benedict Guttel with the defensive rebound. Back outside, Alvesic. Oh, great bounce pass. Just got to finish that. And Morgan couldn't handle that either. Bogic for Josevic just couldn't make that reverse layup. And Rupnik, I think what happened there, he's faked the pass initially, then he's let it go. I think if he just made the pass initially, and Morgan would have caught it and just um, run it in with a layup. Morgan, wide open three is good. Jakub Lasic. Slovenia just two minutes away 
potentially from qualifying for the Eurobasket finals in 2022. Providing, of course, if Ukraine can beat Austria tomorrow. And Slovenia beat Austria yesterday on this court. 84-73. So the Austria-Ukraine game could be very interesting indeed. So all Slovenia can do is their side of the bargain. All Austria can do is keep pushing in this game. Mahal Basic at the line, knocks them down. 14-point lead. Mahal Basic, good, really good game by him. Takes a seat. Blazic off the screen from Morgan, knocks down the jump shot. Dynamite from Blazic. Beautiful screen as well from Morgan. Blazic up to 14 points, five of 10 from the field. Oh, shots going up for Austria, and it's good. Great patience by Benedict Guttel. Shot fake, bounce, and then knock down the three. They're not going to go away. Blasic, penetrate kick back to Ruknik, deep three. It's good, nothing but net. Lupa Ruknik, he's really improved his game over the last couple of seasons. He's looking in complete control and playing within this Slovenian offense. And a block, not in this house, says Morgan. Exclamation mark for the Slovenian performance there. They're going to want to finish strong as well. Hovrat just short. Logan Sype. So Vyosevic, who's fouled. And that's a deep three indeed from Luka Rupnik. He's up to 7.6 assists. Blasic is 16 points, 6 of 11. And as for Bozic, for Yusevich. He leads all scores, 21 points. Came into this game averaging 16 points a game, had 18 points versus Slovenia in the reverse fixture in Slovenia in February. And he's continued pouring in the points today. And Vyosevic will sit. He looks dejected, but he's had a big game. And back in is Joshua Radosh. They've got to go again tomorrow. Just running down. Shot clock now. They want to get a good look. Good defense from Austria. 16 point differential. They're going to want a good offense to finish. Duvier. Good for three. Bryce Duvier with his first shot of the game. And it's a three. And they get the turnover. 13 point deficit. They're going to have 2.3 seconds to get a good shot to finish the game. And Royal Corner will be disappointed that they've not been able to maybe get closer. But the way the team have performed in the second half. And they full court heave is just short. And it's the end of the game. And Slovenia have done all they can do. 
They've won their game. Final score, Austria 64, Slovenia 77. And another efficient victory for Slovenia. There were some good moments, some great moments, but then Austria came really strong in the second half. Behind some great play from Bojic. Jovost Vyosevic, 22 points for him, leading the scores for Austria. 17 points for Moratti, 11 points for Mahal Basic, along with eight rebounds, seven assists. As for Slovenia, Blazic with 16, Hovrat with 14, leading the way. Markovic with 10. And Jordan Morgan doing what he does inside. 9.7 rebounds. But it was a good effort by Austria. They kept pushing. They never hung their heads. But Slovenia too strong in the end. Here's are the statistics. And the three pointers were an issue. Six for 23 in the end. But they were one for 18 going into the last quarter. 18 assists each, 32 to 36 rebounds. Slovenia ahead there. 15 turnovers in the end for Slovenia. Austria stepped up the defence in that final quarter. And Vyosevic, 22 points, leads all scores. Blazic, 16 for Slovenia. Hovrat with 14, Markovic with 10. And Moratti. And... Mahal Basic, the other scorers for Austria. So here's the best highlights, and that's one of the toughest plays. That is, requires really tough core, great concentration. But there was a lot of good plays from uh, Austria, and that's just a simple left-hand jump hook. But he didn't just hasn't just got the scoring. Mahal Basic, he has the passing as well. Great bounce passes, just feather touch. Just reads the game really well, but so does that man, Bla Jaka Blazic. Sixteen points, three of seven from behind the arc, three of four from two. One assist, four rebounds, three turnovers and one steal. But some good long-range shooting. From Austria's number six, Bozic Vyasevic. Seven out of eight from the line, six of nine from two. Just one of three from behind the arc. That was the issue for the bulk of the game for Austria, not getting enough scores from behind the arc. When you look at the other side of the court, 13 of 37 from Slovenia, 35% from behind the arc. Austria's number 15, Daniel Friedrich. He came in, did a good job. Five points, one of two from behind the arc. And then a clever move by Lepornik. But Slovenia oh, will wait for the result of the Ukraine game against Austria here tomorrow. And that game is at five, 10 past five local time. So less than 24 hours to prepare themselves, Austria. But with Slovenia beating Ukraine yesterday, and Austria being, out, being able to stay with Slovenia four stretches of the game, they will feel that they can 
compete with Ukraine and maybe get very close to them and possibly get their first victory of the qualify qualification group. And there was more good play there from Austria, continuing to the end. But it's Slovenia who take the spoils. And if Ukraine win tomorrow against Austria, Slovenia and Ukraine will qualify from this group. And here is the table as it sits. Slovenia played four, one, three, lost one. Ukraine played three, one, one, lost two. And Austria, 0 oh and three. I hope you've enjoyed the entertainment of this Eurobasket qualifier. Slovenia, march on. They're nearly at the next Eurobasket finals. Goodbye.